Hello, I'm CJ Galata, Director of the Connected Living Memory Care Program here at Shell Point. People living with Alzheimer's disease have a different way of seeing and processing information. How you sound and what you say and the environment will all have an effect on your loved one's demeanor. People with Alzheimer's disease often express their frustrations and needs through behaviors instead of telling you what they need. Using creative problem solving can be invaluable. Stop, look, and listen. When a behavior happens, take a moment to assess the situation and look for causes or triggers. Determine if this is a new response or a long-standing response. If the person becomes restless or agitated or anxious, use calming phrases and listen to discover a cause. Check for pain, hunger, thirst, constipation, full bladder, fatigue, infections, and skin irritation. Make sure the room is a comfortable temperature. Be sensitive to fears, misperceived threats, and frustration. Reduce noise and distractions in the environment. Turn off the television. Move to another area and focus on something they enjoy, such as being outdoors, singing, or listening to music. You may also consider a constructive task that interests your loved one, such as folding towels, sweeping, or holding an object. They may need reassurance if they are scared, upset, confused, or frustrated. Do not correct them or argue as you may make the situation worse. Look for additional possible causes such as medical concerns, environmental causes, or emotional triggers. Simplify tasks and routines. Always consider their reality of what they are perceiving the situation to be. There are many things we can do to help a loved one feel safe, secure, and loved. It starts with being their friend and seeing the world through their eyes. Empathy is key. When approaching a person with dementia that is feeling anxious or agitated, it is important to project kindness and love. This means a calm, soft, friendly voice. This means a genuine smile, the type that starts with the eyes and spreads across the face. People with dementia can tell when someone is faking a smile. If you are having a bad day, it is important to try not to project that onto your loved one. This is where support is helpful for both the care partner and the person with cognitive loss. A person may not recall your name or the relationship they have with you, but they will recall the feelings they have when around you. When approaching as a best friend, you can help your loved one feel safe, secure, and loved. If you have any questions about memory care at any level of the continuum, feel free to reach out to me at Christine Galata at shellpoint.org or call me at 415-5575. Thank you.